Archangel Michael, or Mikael, is one of the most well-known and loved archangels today. His presence, frequency, and wisdom is abundantly available. And yet, many of his core teachings are largely hidden from view. So in this video, I want to dive in to five of the hidden teachings of Archangel Michael. So the first hidden teaching of Archangel Michael, we can find buried within the essence of how he's often depicted as a warrior of light. We often see depictions of Archangel Michael as a great spiritual warrior fighting the forces of darkness and negativity. And this illuminates this service, this support he offers humanity and offers individual souls, helping the individual soul to fight off negative impulses and overly materialistic tendencies in order to return to and remember the inner impulse for love, for connection with soul, with source, to return to the middle path, which I often talk about, the Christ light stream, the Mikaelic stream and impulse, which is neither swayed towards materialism nor towards being overly spiritual, ungrounded in a spiritual sense. Archangel Michael helps those whom he is serving to stay centered in perfect alignment, 90 degrees, the chakras in verticality opening the way for the pillar of light above the head for the awareness to lift, remember, and meet a higher level of divine intelligence that Archangel Michael embodies and broadcasts and seeks to support us each as individual souls in remembering. And one of the first steps on this journey of remembering is consciously choosing it, which means fighting off, warding off the many distractions, the overly materialistic perspectives of physical reality that are so pervading. The second hidden teaching found in the essence of Archangel Michael's energy as a great protector as an archangel of protection leader of the legions of light protecting humanity against darkness, negativity, and adversity. And yet behind this, there's an empowering teaching, an empowering impulse from Archangel Michael that when we as individuals make the choice to return to love, to lovingly learn to train and focus our minds, to gain a sense of mental focus, ability to focus the mind moving in the direction of inner mastery. This greatly empowers us on our path of human evolution as we claim our power as sovereign divine beings in our own right to overcome negativity and adversity in our path through our own force of will, mental clarity, and connection with that impulse of source, that Mikael extreme, that Christ light consciousness that is seeking to blossom, to shine forth within human beings. And Archangel Michael is a tremendous guide and ally for us in this journey. So yes, he is a protector in the sense that if we feel unsafe or scared, we can call in his protection and brilliant light. And yet he also teaches us to claim our power of the mind, of the will, of our energetic field, so that we're able to protect ourselves and to be of service to all of humanity in a greater way. The third hidden teaching of Archangel Michael can be found within his sword. He's often depicted carrying this brilliant sword of light, this sword of truth 
which cuts through illusion, deceit, and negativity. Again, empowering us as awakening human beings to cut away that which no longer serves, to realign with the truth, with the one Mikael extreme, Christ light stream available for us to tap into, return to, and remember. And it is on the other side of cutting away that which no longer serves. So Archangel Michael's sword is also a spiritual tool that's available that through working with Archangel Michael, we can receive so that we not only ask Archangel Michael to cut away the, all that no longer serves, but that we ourselves as empowered human beings, spirits of love and freedom can use the sword of light to cut away what no longer serves, to cut through illusion and through negativity, to return to and remember truth, love, power within the present moment. The fourth hidden teaching of Archangel Michael is that one of his core gifts, divine qualities, frequency transmissions, is that of strengthening willpower and courage. Humanity is navigating through this most powerful time where we have the opportunity to awaken from one level of conscious into an entirely new level of experiencing the divine life force and light. But in order to do this, there is willpower, determination, discipline, dedication, courage in order to make this evolutionary leap. Archangel Michael is not only an ally for this journey, but his transmission of golden solar energy, warmth, courage, divine will pours in from above, in through the central pillar of light along our being into the lower abdomen to activate and awaken the will forces so we can awaken divine will, divine love through our hearts to rise up in frequency and awareness to serve humanity and to step into our role as awakening beings in this life to claim our willpower and courage to face the challenges of the present day. And yes, there are many, but to face them with courage and valor, to rise to the occasion, to be the change we wish to see and to serve others in this time of great transition. So Archangel Michael's message teaching is so empowering for us not to only revere higher dimensional beings and call upon angels for assistance, but to actually receive the energetic transmission impulse for us to awaken these divine angelic qualities within ourselves, to grow, expand, become more of who we're truly meant to be in order to be of service in a greater way in the world through our unique soul embodied expression in this life. The fifth hidden teaching of Archangel Michael I was inspired to share today is that a big part of his transmission, his message, his frequency is about the evolution of consciousness to imbue human thinking with higher cosmic intelligence. So an important thing to know about Archangel Michael is that while you can find many messages channeled from Archangel Michael, many teachings of Archangel Michael online, I have a book about Archangel Michael where I've channeled the messages Archangel Michael speaks, but know that in that there's a higher level Archangel Michael is fractalizing his consciousness down in order to be contained in the essence of this book in human words in a message. But there's a great potential for us as humans to lift our consciousness up to 
a level beyond the ordinary mental consciousness into the light of the higher spheres, the expanded perspective of divine intelligence beyond the ordinary mind, where the transmission frequency and consciousness of Archangel Michael is consistently available for us to tap into his silent presence, his light frequency, his guidance, which is transmitted in a way that is beyond words. I've spoken to this in another video about his message coming through a packed thought form, an entire discourse, an entire philosophy packed into a single point of light that when we allow our awareness to lift up, through our central column, up through the crown chakra at the top of the head, up through the pillar of light above our head into that singular point to be in stillness, to expand, open to receive. There is so much that's available that comes not in a way that's understood by our ordinary mind, but in a way that empowers us to transcend the ordinary, to elevate in consciousness, to experience as an angelic being, as that layer, that level, that expanded sense of divine mind and divine possibility where we remember what's truly possible in this life beyond the material, in to the heart of matter, into the truth of the moment, into the potential for transformation, for awakening, for remembering our innate and intricate connection with the one that when we tap into is able to empower every aspect of our life within the physical, within the ordinary, to transform ordinary moments into extraordinary by opening to that expanded sense of knowingness, remembrance, I am, that Archangel Michael broadcasts and seeks to serve and empower us in elevating our awareness to tune in to that higher level of light. I hope this is helpful for you. I also have a number of Archangel Michael meditations on this channel, which I'll link to in the description below. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe, comment below, and I'll see you in the next video.